Hello everyone, I'm Eileen Fox and welcome back to my channel. This week's challenge was to create an haute couture look that has graced the runway of Paris Fashion Week. After some research, I have chosen Manisha Aurora. He has been nicknamed by many as the John Galliano of India. He's known for his psychedelic color palette and garments that combine traditional Indian crafts like embroidery, applique, beading with a western silhouette. To create the three-tiered cape will require CNDs, retention powder and bright white. I use three different size art brushes to create the cakes. I prefer bright white as opposed to clear as it is easier to see the highlights and shadows as well as there is less product waste when painting your color. It's important to keep the tin foil as smooth as possible as well as your application. Use a piece of plastic to keep the top flat. Matte top coat helps to smooth out and give a better icing effect. My pearls are all handmade with a dotting tool in a large size. One coat of cream puff and one coat of top coat cleanse and apply attack to a tacky surface. For a more 3D look, you can do two dots of color I attach the chain using CND clear acrylic. You can use acrylic over matte top coat with confidence that it will bond. The cross hatching design took several attempts to figure out the thickness for smoothing over the nail while still being able to trim the edges and not wrinkling the gel. One generous coat of color and one thin application of top coat trim and apply to a tacky surface. For the metal beadwork, you can buy these beads at a craft store or a nail supply store. Roll in Bariza Sculpting Gel in clear with, on a gloved hand and apply on a tacky surface. Flash cure in between to keep the shape. For the shoe element, I cut out a triangle of the nail using an e-file and a pointed metal bit for accuracy. I then place a piece of unicorn foil on the underside of the triangle. It is actually translucent, but it's hard to see against the white background. I added the flower element tie in as there are many flowers on the dress. The chain center piece is one of my favorite elements. The fringe was executed the same way as the pearls. I connected the dots with a striping brush to make sure that they attached. Once again, make sure your surface is tacky when you apply for proper adhesion. Unfortunately, I lost the footage for creating the two of the nails. The ruffle nail was achieved by attaching three dotting tools at the base and fanning out at the top. Lay tinfoil over top and clear acrylic. Then paint with shellac colors, popsicle picnic, rooftop hop, and jellied and blend. Finish with matte top coat. While the matte top coat is still tacky, add your metal pearls and your handmade pearls to complete the look. I then attached the ruffle to the nail using Bariza Clear Sculpting Gel and Cure. And there you have it, a Manisha Aurora inspired set. Hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you so much for Nails Magazine and CND for sponsoring. Don't forget to like and subscribe and most importantly, vote. Voting starts July 5th and I will attach a link to the in the description box when it's available. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.